Good morning, and good morning for those of you joining us via the web. Uh, my name is Mark Nebush. I am with Online Development. We are going to talk to you today about our Configure and Go Data Exchange with our product EATM T Manager. Uh, this is a dedicated module with some configuration software that provides data exchange between control logics and databases such as Microsoft SQL and Oracle. The other thing we have in the booth here, each corner we have some touchscreen monitors. They have a number of uh, videos that talk about how you set the module up. Uh, they're captioned and they also have audio with them. Uh, we also have a demo system here in the booth and we have a couple stations where if you actually want to see the software in operation, uh, a couple of our uh, experts can uh, walk you through uh, an actual configuration. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention is each day at 3 o'clock, session, uh, tech session T60. Uh, I'll be up there, Lori Wilson, who's our product and support expert, will be up there and we will be covering the, uh, a little more detail on the product. We also have two customers, uh, uh, case histories, so they'll give you some examples of how the module is being used. The key points of why we chose Team Manager was one, the easeability of constructing the communication in between um, the PLCs and the back-end information systems. Um, two, the support for JMS, which satisfied the company's requirement to decouple the actual database the data resided in from the plant floor operations. And three, just the ease of use. The, the UI in and of itself um, made my job easy. The team manager streamlines that information quickly to get that information out of the plant floor. You know, in our world, a, a lot of ERP suppliers try to go to the plant floor and get data. And they live in the second world, and they can live in that world. We live in the millisecond world or sub-second world, and, and we need products, hardened products that can live on a plant floor and be able to collect that data. And we can use computers too, and be able to and get it into a form factor that's presentable on the automation, not only to the plant floor, but then also to the ERP and also the business leaders of the car organization. And that, that tool, the, you know, the team manager has been able to streamline that process. We have a MLX100 uh, robot gateway that uh, runs the inverse kinematic solutions and all the planning for the robot. And that gateway communicates with our drives uh, that are connected to our, uh, our robot. So uh, we think that it's, uh, it's important that uh, at uh, Scow Motorman Robotics, we want to uh, be able to control the have tight control of the robotics. So one of the things that's helped us to get to this point is the, uh, the online development uh, incorporated module okay. that uh, our kinematics, inverse kinematic solutions and planning software is running on board that unit. This is a, a, an offering from online development. Uh, it's called the BLY90 module. Uh, it was co-developed with, uh, with Rovasis and uh, in online development. And uh, it, was a, it was an idea that we came up with based upon the uh, online's uh, SAM module, special application module, where we thought, why wouldn't we put an OPC server in the SAM module and offer a more integrated solution? And out of that idea came this dedicated module. Which is, uh, you know, uh, high speed, very dedicated, locked down um, module that its only job, its only purpose is to transact information back and forth to control logics from Bailey. Uh, the message manager configured in the uh, Internet Explorer browser is set up with a graphical, easy to use environment where you add devices on a network and the backplane, whichever the PLCs you have out there, you're able to actually browse the tags if it's an Allen Bradley PLC point to the specific tags you want, having a source and destination, all graphically, very easy to find and, and see and figure out, and then be able to transfer that information based on triggers. Those triggers can be based on a time event. You may say you want them every second, every half a second, or you can base them on events. Those events can look at other tag values in the PLC and then have many other conditionals off of that tag 
uh, tag reaches a certain value, tag turns on, and then trigger those messages accordingly.